In today's video, we're going to look at how you can switch between different cameras in one scene inside iClone. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation and if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation or you just want to start out and you have no idea where to begin, well I've got some great news, I've got a free video training um, where I teach you the basics and you will work alongside with me in this video training and by the end of the video you will know the basics of animation and you'll be able to continue you'll learn the basics like keyframe animation etc and it's just a great way and this training is absolutely free so in the description box below there's a link just click there and um you can just sign up and you can take that free training so in today's video we're going to look at um camera switching between different cameras inside iClone now the reason i'm doing this video for some of you this video will be so obvious <laughs> um you'll find it boring but the reason i'm doing this video is because when i started out iClone um this is one one area that I really struggle to figure out because um, I use iClone because it is very the interface is very similar to Cartoon Animator 4 and I use Cartoon Animator 4 for all my 2D animations so it was very easy for me to learn iClone for my 3D animations and um, but with Cartoon Animator 4 there's only one um, camera that you work with with iClone you can add as many camera um, cameras as you want and that is a great feature because especially um, let's say for example in a movie a fight scene there's always um, it's like quick editing there's a lot of camera different angles it's quick editing and you can do that with iClone by setting up different cameras and just switching between them um, so you can create very awesome looking action scenes with that but the problem is I knew how to add cameras but I never knew how to switch between the cameras and I I, I didn't take any online courses so this was something I had to figure out myself and I really struggled and I finally figured it out so I thought let me make a video um, on this maybe you also struggle um, to do this or maybe you know um, and you can maybe in the comments below leave some camera tips um, for all the other viewers so let's quickly um, look at this scene I'm not going to do a animation I'm just going to show you how to do um, um, how to add your different cameras and switch between them so here is a cam a, um, a character and what we're going to do is you first need to make sure you are on preview and then we're going to add our character um, our camera so you go to create camera and now there is a camera and if you click there you'll see now there is a camera so let's just quickly name this camera I'm just gonna call it camera one and let's add a um, animation to this shot so now we here at the camera you can see there and on the timeline so let's go to frame let's say 250 it's there you go 250 and what we want this one to do is we want it to zoom in and let's say we want him to change the angle as well so if we press play now we've got that camera movement okay so that is um, how you can also animate your car your cameras and also on the timeline so now let's add a second one so the first thing I want to do is go back to preview because if I'm gonna edit my um, angles like if I move here it will actually edit my um, that that camera that I've created so first I go on preview then let's do a close-up and we're gonna maybe go um, from this angle let's 
let's go and let's create a camera and we call it camera 2 now I want to adjust that camera position so let's do that quickly and I can click there and I can easily adjust it move it closer down and we can also tilt it so if I go back to that camera too there we have it so let's do for this camera angle we start there and let's go to frame 250 as well and let's change we have a nice close-up like that so if we press play now we have that movement okay so let's add a third camera so let's go back to preview and I want to add a camera maybe from the back and it just zooms in so now we can create our third camera let's rename it and make it number three and let's add a slow zoom in to that so let's go to frame 250 as well and we just a little bit of zoom like that and if we press play there you go okay so we've got three cameras um, from different angles so now we want to switch between each one of them okay so what you need to do is you at the top here you go on switch and now you go to um, you on the timeline you'll see this switch you create a keyframe right click camera list camera one okay so let's move that go to frame 30 we go to camera 2 frame 60 camera 3 and let's switch again between them camera 1 camera 2 camera 3 and we just continue with switching these cameras from the one to the other let's leave them on that close-up so now if you here on just the camera one you're only gonna see that cameras animation okay but now if you go on camera switch now it will play uh, switch between all the different cameras so let's press play now and you'll see what happens it will switch between the different cameras now you can see you'll see the cameras there so if you want to remove them you can just click there and now you won't be able to see them and if we press play now it will switch between the different cameras so guys it is so simple but believe it or not I really struggled to figure out how to switch between different cameras um, well I've struggled with this a long time ago I just thought um, since I'm now starting with my own animation 3d animated film um, now I'm working with iClone a little bit again so I just thought this is something I struggled with a while back let me make a video and show you guys maybe you also struggle with it and talking about my 3d animated film um, I created a patreon so if you want to join this journey alongside with me where I create my very own 3d the animated film I created a patreon so what I do is I pull back the curtains and I will show all the patrons um, behind the scenes um, how I make the film I have some interviews with people um, that also works um, with me on the film so that you guys can learn so 
The whole purpose of this Patreon is not just um, a membership, but it's actually you're going to learn um, from me and you'll see firsthand how we make a 3D animated film. And there's currently a promotion on, so if you want to check it out, it is $5 for um, the gold uh, membership and $15 for the platinum. So make sure, go check it out. Um, I'm sure you're going to find it very interesting, uh, very um, educational. You're going to learn a lot and you'll have all the hands-on uh, or first-hand experience of how to make a 3D animated film. Um, so feel free to go check it out. So guys, that is it for me. I hope this video was helpful. Maybe not. Maybe you know exactly how to do this. But um yeah, this was something that I had to struggle to figure out for myself, and um, I hope this video was helpful for you. So from me, Ion, I will see you guys next week with another video. God bless and happy animating.